from Generation Strength and welcome to day 23 of the 30 day Strength From Home workout challenge where we're working out every single day for the next 30 days. Today I'm going to take you through 10 exercises to improve shoulder mobility. Since most of us sit hunched over for most of the day, whether it be at a desk, watching TV or in the car, many of us are at risk for shoulder pain. So, improving your posture and compensating for all the hours that we spend hunched over is the foundation for a healthy body. So today we're going to take it a bit easy, I'm going to give your body a rest after many days of intense activity. So we're going to start, get ready, follow me to the centre of the mat. We're going to start with some cat and cow, so stack the joints underneath each other. We're going to come down, flexing the back, taking the neck up. So I'm flexing here, I'm coming and I'm extending and I'm taking the neck up. Nice and slow, we want to go down as much as we can, arching the back, taking the neck up and flexing up as high as we can, engaging the top of the abs and back down. We're warming up the lower back. for one minute and we're going to move on to the next exercise. Some exercises we're doing the shoulders independently so we're going to do 30 seconds on one side and then 30 seconds on the other. Come down to the side of the mat, stack the knees, stack the hips on top, hand out in front. I can rest my head on the mat or on my shoulder from here. I'm taking the arm back shoulder rotations. So I'm opening up the shoulder and keeping the hips in line. So as I take the arm back, I'm moving from the upper back. So you should feel stretch on the lower back and on the shoulder joint as we come around. We're going to switch sides. Lay your head, just rest on the floor, rotate it round with the arm. Come up, we're going to come up to a posterior plank. So I'm pulling the shoulder blades together and letting my neck relax. Squeeze the glutes, I'm feeling a little stretch in the front of the arms, but I'm stretching the shoulders. If you want to come down to take a rest, come down and then come back up. So you can put the hands out the side. Back down, keep the chest up and back.
Now I'm going to take the knees back, keep the bum in the air, crossing my hands. So here I'm stretching the back of the shoulders and the upper back. Pressing my elbows into the mat. I'm taking deep breaths.
So I lay the feet flat, pushing the lower back into the ground. Taking the arms overhead. If you feel this putting pressure on your lower back or your lower back is off the mat and you can't push it against, try to draw the belly button in so that it's tense. Otherwise, you can bring the legs up to relax the lower back. So nice, slow through the full range of motion. My forearms and the back of my hands stay in contact with the floor. As I take the arms overhead, I push my lower back into the ground to make sure that my lower back isn't getting my arms overhead. And I'm working my thoracic spine and my shoulders. Last move, we're going to come up. Put the hand behind the back. So I'm taking the hand up as far as I can and I'm bringing the neck across and I'm looking down. Looking at my other shoulder. So I'm getting a nice stretch on the neck here. Maybe a little bit further back depending on my range of motion of my neck where I'm looking. And then on the front of the shoulder and back.